De La Wright, my envies. Welcome. My prince, Tadeni Kawo, as important as he is to me, was not born in America, not because I did not have the money to afford um, um, a place in America for Tadenikawa to be born, but I wanted my prince to be born here, as in to be born in um, Nigeria. I am king, a traditional ruler at that. I believe in Africa. I believe in our ancestral inclination. I believe in our land. Uh, I believe that my children should be born in their own soil that has an ancestral meaning to them. And at the time where I had Tadenikawo, I was desperate. I wanted a son. If not for Tadenikawo, I don't know where I would have been by now. At that time, I wanted the son. I wanted him to live. I wanted him to, you know, come to life. I wanted that seed to be bedded. I wanted everything from Tadenikawo. And at the time, I I would have been desperate for her, for him to go and be uh, bedded outside the country. No, I did not. I had enough money to buy as many houses as I could in the America, but I still insisted that Tadenikawu must be born in Nigeria. And if my prince was born in Nigeria, I do not see any child that I will have to fund to go and be born outside the country because I want all my offsprings to be born right here in their ancestral soil. Oni of Ife is alleged to have told Toby, declined completely, that he is not buying any house in America, that the child that she is carrying, if she is carrying a child, must be born right here in Nigeria. That if Tadenikawo was not born in America or London or anywhere because he does not believe in that, why then should he allow any of his child to go and be bedded in another man's soil? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, De La Ram. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the sauce. It's still on the Royals, De La Right. How are you guys doing? Happy New Week to you. I appreciate. I love you. I thank you. I'm grateful. And I respect you so much. May God bless you. Bring you good tidings this week. And you will live and you will not die. You will receive the grace of God upon your life. Thank you for being here. Please, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly go ahead. Hit that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. I appreciate you so much. A report reaching us right now is that the owner of Ife allegedly declined that he is not buying any house for Toby to go and give birth to a child in America. That Adenikawo was not born in America as much as he was desperate at the time to get a son to sustain his said. He never thought of going to give birth to that boy in America. And as long as he never gave birth to his first son in America, he's not giving birth to any other child in America. Anybody who wants to go and give birth in America, America, London, um, Canada, anywhere. Please be ready to fund it yourself. Yes, the child will be mine, but then you are not, I am not funding that kind of expenses for you to go and grow other people's economy when our economy is suffering. I, uh, they said only of if I explained that he is king, he's got all the resources to kind of, um, you know, buy all the houses in the world in different countries, but he is not spending his resources to grow other people's economy. He's spending his resources to grow his own economy, especially that of Ile Ife. Investment is very important to him. People are suffering in Ile Ife. The money he will spend to go and buy a house in America and you um, uh, fix the house and begin to fly family back and forth there. If he uses it to buy a house in Nigeria and, you know, or invest in a business that will bring value to people that that will pay him more, that he is, as a matter of fact, not buying a house anywhere for anybody to go and give birth to a child. If you want it for yourself, you must, you must, you must go and do it yourself. They said Toby cried a whole lot, allegedly, that if um, Queen Nami had 
demanded this, Oni would have run kata, 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 kitty, kata, kitty to go and get it for Queen Naomi. But now that it's her turn, Oni will say he will not. That, that is what Oni does. The only person who places a demand that comes to pass is Olori Naomi. That they don't know what they have done to Oni of Ife that is uh, making Oni of Ife decline. As in whenever they ask for anything, Oni of Ife will vehemently de decline that he is not doing it. That if anything happens to her baby, she's not going to be happy with um, KBSC, that KBSC knows the situation, the darkness, and the envy that is in the palace of the Oni of Ife, that the women are very envious that you know, the reason why she is not in the palace now is because of the signs and everything that she has seen, okay, with um, um, uh, these people in the palace. And that is why she decided to leave the palace. That she does not want a situation where something will happen to her baby. Now, the thing is that for me, I don't know who are these people who are advising Olori to be. Who, what makes you feel that if you go and give birth to a child in America and nothing will happen to them? When people in America are busy asking their families in Nigeria to do prayers and do this and do that, you think that those um, energy, um, um, negative energy that is disturbing them in America, London, you think it's coming from America? It's not coming from America because it's a strange land. People don't know you. They're still coming from the same family here in Africa. And so if you think that being in America or London takes you out of, you know, people harming you, you need to know that you are being delusional. The only thing that is keeping us um, is the grace of God and the love of God and the protection of God. And if that protection of God stays with you in Nigeria, the protection of God is going to stay with you wherever you are in the world. Look at Kwinami has gone through a whole lot of fight, spiritually and physically. You think that if Kwinami were to be in America, they will not fight Queen Naomi. Yes, they will still fight her, but what is keeping her, what is making her successful, what is making her, you know, um, um, row even higher is because the grace is there for her, the grace is sufficient for her, and God is also there for her. So I want to believe that if people in Toby's family are busy pushing her and advising her on what to do, what to say to the Oni of Ife at certain give, at given um, point in time, she need to restrain herself from what they are saying to her so she doesn't put herself in a corner that she would not like. Because it does seem as if maybe the aunt or somebody is advising her and that is why she stay. you are pregnant. Where are you supposed to be? Is it not with your husband? And you have a situation where people are doubting whether you are or you are not and all of that and your husband is in defense telling them that look oh, pregnancy does not hide the child will be born at the end of the day knowing that of course there's nothing anybody can do that will go contrary to the tradition of the elephant you cannot bring another person's um um you know, child Tony, you cannot as much as even let anybody cross you because that one is spy for the person and, you know, very serious consequences for you. So Oni knows that except that even if they go and buy a, a baby and bring it will not um, 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 uh, stay like alive as long as they bring it in the name of KBSC. And so Oni is not bothered. Whether you're pregnant or you're not pregnant, it's not only of your first business. But then again, you have to be careful with what people are bringing to you and so that you don't put it in your husband's face and make him begin to doubt and be, be very angry with you. That is what a lot of people are saying to Ulori Toby. I wanted to bring you this update. I'm going to bring you more. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.